Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. To me, it's VexPK here, and I'm actually on the fresh restart servers for New World right now. And I'd like to say, so far I'm having a blast on this game. I played it when it first came out for launch, and I enjoyed it then. I wanted to see the game grow, but unfortunately the game had like below 3,000 players for a, a while on Steam charts. And after they released a DLC, well, of course, it was free, not like any other game. All of the other games have uh, pay DLCs, and New World did not. Now, I think it revived a lot of the players, and they fixed a whole bunch of messes with the game. They fixed a lot. And what I like to say about this is... I have been having a frick ton of fun so far in the Fresh Restart servers. Now, I was one of the very few people that got their character to level 60 uh, when the game first came out. I enjoyed it then, and I'm enjoying it now. The Fresh Restart server has made a huge impact on the game. So, so many people. And as you can see right now, chat is just going crazy with people talking everywhere on my server that I'm on for the fresh restart and I've been having a blast honestly I'm glad they fixed a lot of the bugs the issues that they had in the past I'm glad they added a bunch of cool stuff I mean there's like enemies that I've never seen before all this stuff areas the whole main quest is different everything is different and it's a very beautiful game I mean just look at everything and the one thing about this is I am actually a player of ESO, a content creator for that game. And when I say that I've had it up to here with that game, I'm not lying. That game has pushed me away from it. I'm done with ESO for a while. I might come back and play it once in a while. But as of right now, I'm not playing it. It really has pushed a lot of the community away. And, I mean, every content creator from ESO is now playing every other game. There is Guild Wars 2, New World. Hell, people even went to WoW. Don't know why they would do that, but they went to WoW. But they have moved to very different games other MMOs and other games of course not even MMOs but mainly I'm talking about MMOs <laughs> MMOs here and I have to say I have actually felt better to leaving that game than ever bro I spent so much time on that game about seven years of my life playing it I know it's a very long time I enjoyed playing it with friends but it's just the game pushed everyone away they do not listen to their community at all. They do not make the right calls. They change the game every three months. They Everything is pay to win. There is no such thing as a fun game on ESO anymore. ESO has just torn itself down. The game crashes, lags, skills won't fire, nothing will work. And it's been like that for years, about since the game came out, actually. It's been, it's been like that since the game came out. They keep adding stuff. They don't care about fixing the game. They don't care about none of it. Only thing they care about is keep adding DLCs and charging you for shit that, to keep up with other players. They, don't, they just care about money. They don't care about anything else. Now, what else I'd like to talk about is let me move over to the other screen of what else I'm going to be getting into. This is ESO Plus membership. Now, this is what you get from ESO Plus right here. You get full access to all the DLC packs, and there's a lot of them. You pay 15 bucks a month for this. There you can you get full access to DLC packs, which is cool, but it's you literally need DLC packs in this game. If you don't, you're not keeping up with nobody whatsoever. The base game by itself, you will be one of the worst players in the game just using base game gear. 
I won't say worse players, but I mean, I know I could use base game shit and still be really, really good. But to keep up with like anything in the game with other players, you you need DLCs, right? And, and there's also expansions, which cost like 60 bucks on top of paying 15 bucks a month. We'll get into that in a minute, but you get more crafting storage, which is um, the craft bag. So you can use for materials and all this. Basically, I only know people that pay 15 bucks just for the crafting materials. That's it. Just $15 for extra space for the crafting materials. That's sad. I used to do it too. I am a victim of this as well. <laughs> you get free crowns, which you only... You, well, technically, you don't get free crowns. You pay $15, and they give you 1,500 crowns every time you pay 15 bucks for this uh, membership. So I wouldn't say free crowns. That's kind of BS. But you pay for $15 to get 1,500 crowns. Okay? No, nothing's free right here. None of this is free. You get extra bank space in the game, which is cool, but that's not 15 bucks worth. More golden XP. You get like 10% more XP, I believe. And gold, I have never seen a difference in getting more gold. No, this is like if they're talking about getting gold off of enemies, like dropping off of like ads, no one does that. That's a horrible way to make gold. You may you barely make any gold from doing that. So you get like two to three gold. So XP, no one even cares about XP really, bro, besides like new players. Bonus to crafting. Um I guess this is whenever you get like what more stuff while doing crafting which doesn't really matter too much uh, more furniture space we don't really care about i mean i know a lot of people love their housing but if you pay 15 bucks a month for housing that's just dumb costume dying oh yeah so you have to pay 15 bucks a month to co uh, color your costume i was a victim of this right here i only paid i paid 15 bucks a month for this and uh crafting storage Fifteen dollars a month. Now it might not seem like a lot, but for the principle of the game sucks and the game, everything you have to pay for in the game, and I only I pay fifteen bucks a month for two things that should already be implemented into the game for free. Transmutation crystals. Now what this does is this allows you to change traits on um, armor. Now, if you pay 15 bucks a month, you get extra storage, I think like 500 extra storage for crystals, which is also should already be in the base game. Or it could be a, a, a thousand now. I can't remember if they changed that to a thousand. I honestly don't remember exactly. But it's extra storage space for crystals, which should be already free implemented in the game. And exclusive deals. Now, these deals are just terrible. There is no such thing as ex exclusive deals. It's like 100 or 200 crowns off of like three things every month and it, or maybe sometimes even one thing and it's like crap it's like housing items it's not even worth it it's just terrible now you get all this for 15 bucks well not this right here this just talks about what you don't get and what you do get with the memberships this right here these things right here on the side it's just not worth it for 15 bucks i canceled my subscription uh, about two weeks ago, I'm done playing. What they're doing is just terrible. I mean, look, they got the crown store. It's it's not even just cosmetics anymore. I'll, I'll show you. So if we go over to, uh, well, there's crown crates, right? Crown crates. This is for gambling. Go. It worked. Okay. So here's mounts that you can get. Very different things. Uh, it keeps going down. A bunch of mounts, costumes, cosmetics, blah, blah, blah. Now, this isn't really pay to win, but this thing is just stupid to have. If you're going to put a mount out, just put it as one price. Don't make it have to be a gamble just for you money-hungry devs and the fucking owner of the game who made it. Right? And... It's just, it's just dumb. This should go. Crown crates should go. No one likes this. We just want regular mounts, right? But let me get to back what I was talking about. Now, sorry, this just caught my eye, and I got into talking to it. But if you go to upgrades, you can buy armor slots. Now, what armor slots do 
is they add slots to well a armor armoring station you can add put more builds there but they cost 15 bucks per armor slot right and that's just dumb they should have all free armor slots don't even know why it's a thing you can buy character slots for one character slot for i think also 15 bucks one extra character slot for 15 bucks that is dumb that, that who why you can buy two classes they're like 15 bucks per i believe they could be more let's click on and see okay well they're on sale right now well one of them is yeah they are 15 bucks each for classes you can buy an imperial city upgrade for a race you can buy a race for like 25 bucks And so on and so forth. You can buy expansions, blah, blah, blah. There's also, also mythic items that you can buy for like 60 bucks each. And it gives you like a certain mythic items and you have to go farm for those. That's also pay to win right there. But if I go to upgrades and I go down to, where would it be? I believe it is under, um, ah, yes, character tokens you can pay 15 bucks to change the appearance of your character you can uh name change your character for 25 bucks to change a character's name not even like your actual name of your like account but your character name for 25 bucks you pay 25 bucks again so you get 3,000 crowns for 25 bucks right and this is 25 bucks technically. So you pay 25 bucks for a race change to change the race of your character for different perks on different and different races. This shouldn't even be a thing. You should be allowed to change. Like I'd even be happy if they made it gold. Use gold in the game to change your character. You pay 25 bucks to alliance change. Like to change the your alliance so there's yellow, uh, blue, and red. Ebonheart Pact, Covenant, and Outer Mary Dominion. To change your alliance, it costs 25 bucks. On New World, you can change your alliance for free for uh, so amount of days afterwards. So you can like change it and you have like a certain amount of days to you can change it again for free. Right? Now you can cu cure vampirism for like eight bucks i believe this is eight bucks you can get infected by vampire or werewolf or cure it but for it costs freaking 15 bucks to infect yourself now you can get infected by a player but but the thing is is why this is why this is here makes no sense when it's literally free in the game why would you charge new players? Because I know new players actually have bought this a whole bunch. I know a whole bunch of people who has bought this and has not got bitten by a player. The reason why they have this in the store for new players is astounding to me. Or astonishing. That's I think that's the word I'm looking for. It, I don't understand why this is here. And of course, to cure it, you can cure it in the game for gold. For like 600 gold. But new players don't know that. New players don't know you can get bit. They are money hungry. You can buy skill lines in the game that you have unlocked, right? And there's werewolf skill line. You can level werewolf skill line in 10 minutes. It costs 25 bucks. You can level the vampire skill line in about an hour, and that costs 25 bucks. Like, what is this? It, 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 this isn't even, this should not be even a thing. This should not be even a thing. Like, bro. An outfit change token. You can buy an outfit. Like, you can use spend gold in the game, but you can buy an outfit change token. This is the most dumbest thing I've ever seen. You can buy crowns. So, let's see. This right here is eight bucks, right? So, you would actually, so that one um, vampire thing right there that I just showed you to cure it, that costs 800 crowns, which te will technically will be what 1500 which will be 20 uh, which will be 15 bucks so this is eight bucks 15 bucks 25 bucks 
uh, 40 bucks, and this is USD. I'm not talking about any other prices because I'm not for sure what it is in other countries. But for USD, this is $8, $15, uh, $25, $40, $50, $60, $70, $80, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $
this right here is just not worth it. It's dying. There's barely any more players on the game. And this is just on PC. This isn't even on like a PlayStation or an Xbox. PlayStation and Xbox. I actually came from PlayStation. And I want to say that coming from PlayStation, there is no one that plays anymore. The game is completely dead on PlayStation. I know people from Xbox. There's barely anyone that plays Xbox. But that's all I know for these two games that I've played. I played a few more MMOs. Like I played WoW before, but I never really got into it because I didn't like the game. Um, but that's just my opinion. Can't can't hate me on my opinion, you know. That's just how it is. But I know people love that game. But honestly, thank you guys for watching. If you did hit like button, subscribe button. I'm sorry to draw out such a long, long video. But thank you guys for um, coming and watching. And if you do like this video, hit the like button, subscribe button. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching so much. And I put a lot of my thoughts into this video on both those games. Mainly just one game so far. But yeah <laughs> sorry for this little thing keep popping up i need to turn that off but um yeah thank you guys for watching peace out goodbye